Hi, I'm Jackie from IELTSJackie.com. Sentence completion questions are one of the less common types of listening test questions, but you need to know how to answer them just in case you do get one. They are a type of gap fill question where you must listen to the recording and fill in the missing words in the sentences to complete them. It's very often the ending of the sentence that you'll have to complete, but you may also have to fill in words within sentences. These types of questions can appear in any section of the listening test, but as long as you have a good strategy to follow, you'll be able to answer them successfully. Follow the advice in this lesson and you'll be well prepared. The lesson includes sample questions, strategy and tips, a practice question, the answers and some help with vocabulary. Here are two sample questions from past papers to give you an idea what to expect. The recording for this question is a telephone conversation between a member of staff at Burnham Tourist Office and a tourist. The recording for this question is a discussion between two friends about studying with the Open University. Rachel has already done a course at the university, but Paul has not. I'm going to use this second example to teach you the answer strategy and give you tips and advice on how to overcome the challenges presented by this type of question. You will have a short time to prepare before the speakers begin talking. Use this time to familiarise yourself with the question and focus your mind on what you need to listen out for. First, read the instructions carefully, paying particular attention to how many words you're allowed to write for the answer. The instructions for our sample question state that you must write no more than two words and or numbers for each answer. If you write more than two words, your answer will be marked incorrect, even if the information you give is correct. The answers will come in the same order in the recording as they're listed in the question. So, for this question, you'll hear answer 27 first, then answer 28, and so on. This makes it easier to pick out the answers than if they were in a random order. During your preparation time, try to predict what the answers might be. This will focus your mind on what to listen out for in the recording. Occasionally, you may be able to predict the actual word, but it should certainly be possible to determine the type of word needed to fill each gap, such as a noun, an adjective or a verb. Pause the video and have a go at doing this for our practice question. Here are the four sentences. In this question, the answers will all be nouns. Synonyms and paraphrasing will be used extensively in the recording, so you'll not only be listening for the exact words that are used in the sentences, but also different words and phrases that have the same meaning. For example, Rachel is probably not going to say, Studying with the Open University demanded a great deal of... She will say it in a different way, for example, My studies required a high level of... These synonyms have been used in this example. Demanded for required and great deal for a high level. So, another good use of your preparation time is to underline key words and phrases and quickly think of synonyms that might be used. These are the most likely words to be replaced in our sample sentences. Pause the video and try to think of some synonyms for these words. Any clues you can get will help you to understand the recording and identify the information needed for the answers. We'll look at the synonyms and paraphrasing that have been used in this question when we review the answers. Once you've added an answer, check that the sentence is grammatically correct. If it's not, then your answer is incorrect. Be aware that you may have to change the form of a word you identify as correct to make the sentence grammatically correct. For example, a sentence in a recording spoken by a man called John might be I'm so frustrated that the insurance company are taking so long to settle my claim. 
The word needed for the answer is frustrated, but it must be changed to frustrating to make the sentence grammatically correct. John found it very frustrating that his accident claim was not sorted quickly. My final tip is to never leave a blank space on the answer sheet. If you miss an answer, take an educated guess. This gives you at least some chance of getting it right. Don't stress about a missed answer or it will affect your ability to answer the next set of questions. Just make your choice and move on. It's now time for you to practice using this strategy on our sample question. Here it is again with a reminder of the context. In the recording, two friends, Rachel and Paul, are discussing studying with the Open University. Rachel has already done a course at the university, but Paul has not. Pause the video, listen to the recording and identify the answers. Write them down so that you can check them later. When you've completed this practice activity, continue the video. I go through the answers next. To hear the recording, click the link in the notes below this video titled Open University Recording. Here are the correct answers. Pause the video while you check them against your own, then we'll go through them one at a time. Answer 27 is motivation. Here's the sentence followed by the section of dialogue this answer appears in. Studying with the Open University demanded a great deal of... and the dialogue. Paul. The other thing I wanted to ask you was, did you find it hard studying with the Open University? Rachel. You mean because you're studying on your own most of the time? Paul. Hmm. Rachel. Well, it took me a while to get used to it. I found I needed to maintain a high level of motivation because it's so different from school. The matching phrases are demanded a great deal of motivation. I needed to maintain a high level of motivation. Let's look at the synonym that's been used. Great deal has been used instead of high level. And there's also a good example of paraphrasing. Demanded has been changed to I needed to maintain. This is typical of how language will be used in sentence completion questions in the IELTS listening test. Answer 28 is time management. Here's a sentence followed by the section of dialogue the answer appears in. Studying and working at the same time improved Rachel's something skills. And the dialogue? Another thing that I got very good at was time management because I had to fit time for studying around a full-time job. Earlier we identified improved as a keyword in the sentence that was likely to be paraphrased and we were right. Improved's been changed to got very good at. The first phrase of the sentence has also been paraphrased in the recording. So instead of studying and working at the same time we have had to fit time for studying round a full-time job. Pause the video and spend a few moments studying this vocabulary to really understand how the language has been changed yet keeps the same meaning. Answer 29 is modules. Here's a sentence followed by the dialogue. It was helpful that the course was structured in and the dialogue. What makes it easier is that the degree is made up of modules, so you can take time off between them if you need to. And here are the synonyms that have been used. Helpful has been changed to make it easier. Course has become degree. And structured has been changed to made up of. You can see how important it is to learn synonyms when you're working on your vocabulary. Finally, we come to answer 30, which is summer school. Here's a sentence followed by the dialogue. She enjoyed meeting other students at... and the dialogue. Even though you're mostly studying at home, remember you've got tutors to help you. And from time to time, there are summer schools. They usually last a week. They're great because you meet all the other people struggling with the same things as you. I've made some really good friends that way. 
This is a tricky answer to identify as the key words don't help very much and the answer is given before the information that matches the question. However, it's typical of the sort of question you'll get in a sentence completion task as it tests your ability to listen to an extended section of text and pick out the required detail hidden within it. If you got this answer wrong, pause the video and study the text. The best way to improve this skill is to listen to conversations on the radio or on podcasts. Just 10 minutes every day will be of huge benefit. I hope you found this lesson helpful. Now practice using this strategy with other sentence completion questions from past papers. It's only with practice that your skills will improve and you'll get the score you need in your listening test. Thank you for watching and goodbye for now.